In the name of the goddess and the six, you will lay down your arms and submit to our swords. What? Stay there. Do not make a move. Search the premises. Let no one leave. What in the name of the Six is going on? Spare us the theatrics, publican. We know that you shelter rebels. Rebels? Of course not. This is a peaceful and law-abiding establishment. If that is the case, you will receive an official apology and recompense from the office of the Emissary. But I'm afraid we cannot take your word for it. The cellar is clear. There's no one else in here, Apostle. I'll take the second floor myself. The Apostle. Uh, it's Apostle... Oh, am I fighting again? Like, that's not even smart. I'm not even a good fighter. Okay. This is pointless. Why are you doing this? I know it's probably the limit of the system, but I'm going to attack you one at a time because I believe in fair play and everything. Why aren't you focusing on him? That's the problem with heavy attacks, actually. I don't like the fact that sometimes you just... Shoot. Okay. Are you going to send a third in a row? No. Okay. Like, you think you just pretend that you weren't rebels. Just think, no, we're not rebels. Definitely not. What are you talking about? Do not make a move, witch. What is your name? I'll give you one last chance to save your neck, witch. You will help me find someone, or you will die. And not just you. We will send the proprietor of this tavern to Sadir to stand trial for treason. As for your friends who've just left harbor, their ship will be boarded and the supplies confiscated. Do you know how the Azadi punish smugglers? Please. Their feet and hands are bound. They are weighed down with metal. And then they are dropped into the ocean. Please, let them be. They carry only medicine and food. I have no quarrel with you or your compatriots. I seek only one person. The one my people call the Scorpion. The... Scorpion? What do you know of him? If I... If I tell you about the Scorpion, will you let us go, Benrimi? Me, the shipment? No. But if you lead me to the Scorpion, then yes. I will let you and your friends go. You'll have your food and medicine. Leave the boat be, Azadi. Please. There are no weapons aboard. It poses no harm to your people. It's in your hands now. Very well. I will take you to... to the Scorpion, but only if you give me your word that you will harm no one else. You have my word. May the stars forgive me for what I am about to do. Who's the Scorpion? I don't know. I don't know who the Scorpion is. I'm sure we'll find out. Hmm. How are we doing? Just fine. This ship's a real beauty. She basically flies herself. She just needs a tiny nudge now and again, but other than that... So, Mr. Westhouse? Call me Brian, please. Brian, when did you come to Arcadia? Oh, that was a long, long time ago too long. I traveled across the Divide in 33. 
1933, that is. What? And you're how old, exactly? Well, I may be getting on, but I'm not that old. No, I got unstuck from time, and I was caught between worlds for a while. Not a pleasant experience by any measure of things, but I got out, and I made a life for myself in Mercuria. I'm never going back to Stark. And I'm fine with that. I've made peace with my past. Arcadia is my home now. Uh, where are you from? Yeah, yeah. Where in Stark did you come from? Boston, USA. Back when there was a USA. Hell, <laughs> back when there was a Boston. They're still there, both of them. How did you end up here? Are you a shifter? Most certainly not. I mean, if I was, I would probably have gone back at some point. No, I made my way through the divide by more unconventional means. I'm not that old, mind you. Something happened that got me unstuck from time. It wasn't the best idea I ever had, but still, here I am in good health, and with all my limbs intact, I, I shouldn't complain. Don't let that stop you. I don't. Uh, you've seen a lot of Acadia, then. Have you seen a lot of this world? I'd say so. When Mercuria was invaded by the Tyran Hordes ten years ago, I was forced to leave the city. I first traveled east across the Northlands to a place called Irhad, the Sun Empire, and then south across the Great Ocean to the continent called the Southlands. After that, well, there's not much left in this world that I haven't seen. I've even been to the Azadi Empire. But I have to say that I like the Northlands, and Mercuria best of all. I, it feels like home. Uh, who are the Azadi? Where did the Azadi come from? Far west. Almost ten days' journey by boat. In their airships, however, or cloud ships, it doesn't take many days to cross the ocean. You've visited their continent. I've passed through it, so to speak. Their capital, Sadir, is just amazing. It's built across a huge river delta where six rivers meet. It's a holy place. They let you just wander freely through their city. I passed as a traveler in their lands. It's not close to outsiders, and as long as you respect the Azadi and their customs, they give you passage. It's such a different culture from what we're used to, but... They're an interesting people, and I found my visit to be highly educational. What they're doing in Mercuria, though, it's certainly controversial. On one hand, they brought freedom and peace. On the other hand... They've taken it away? They've rounded up the magicals, stuck them in a ghetto, and God knows what they intend to do with them next. Uh, the Tyran. I'm not sure that's really... Relevant. They're the big horrible things at the end of the uh, attack to Mercuria. Kind of the end bit of the longest journey. Don't really, I'm not sure I see the point of asking. So I'll just uh, thanks. When do we get to the Dark People's City? From what our feathered friends said, it'll be another day or so. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just feeling a bit restless. Well, there's not much to do here. You can look around the cabin for a bit, talk to Crow, or. Take a nap back in the hold. There's a bed there. Thanks. Maybe I will. It's annoying. I want to. I want to. I want to just progress the game. Oh, partly. I'm feeling seasick. Seasick? Aren't you used to flying? Flying? Yes. Flying is no problem. Flying is flapping your wings and praying for a good tailwind. This isn't flying. This is torture. So why don't you jump out there and fly instead? What? And catch a cold? Are you kidding me? You do know that it's freezing out there, don't you? And it's not like I can keep up with this infernal machine. My wings are made for comfort flying, not marathons. No, I'll stay here. I'll just... Find a corner to go throw up in instead. You nice.
April. How long have you known April? That depends on how you look at it. We go way back. But I haven't really seen her since way back. What happened? She sent me on my merry way. She wanted to go find herself, which actually means go lose everyone else. I can recommend it, though. It's very liberating. I went off to find myself recently, and I have nothing but good things to say about it. You see, I was about to get married. What? To a bird. I mean, not a woman. Well, yes, a woman. A female bird. Someone with wings. Like you. Yes, that's right. A bird. Anyway, so the idea of settling down, building a nest, starting a family... I don't know. I started freaking out. So I went on a journey of inner discovery. Okay. You went on a journey of discovery? Inner discovery. A quest for personal understanding. A mission of self-realization. A voyage of inward fulfillment. A trek to the... Okay, yes. I get it. You wanted to find yourself. It's brilliant. You desert everyone, abandon your responsibilities and relationships, and focus completely on your own personal misery. It's a douche for the soul. You know, Crow, I think you may have misunderstood what finding yourself is all about. What? No, April showed me how it's done. I can't believe I didn't do it sooner. I feel so much... lighter. Not a care in the world. Except for, you know, the total and abject misery in my heart and soul. Okay. Uh. Why, why not just tell me? Ugh. So you abandoned your fiancé to go on a selfish journey of inner discovery. Abandoned is a strong word. Left? Deserted? Forsook? Yes, yes. And yes, slipped away in the dead of night? Sure. But it was all for the best. I obviously wasn't ready to, you know, become a responsible, grown-up, magical bird. Where does one go to find oneself, I asked. Granted, I only asked myself, and I probably should have gotten a second opinion, but there you go. So I decided to seek the center of all wisdom and knowledge in Arcadia. This dark people's city? No, no, no. Some fortune teller in Zahn. She stiffed me. It was actually blind luck that I ended up in the Dark People's City. I never intended to go there, but it was a real blessing, I tell you. These guys, they let me read anything I wanted. And I learned a lot. Like, for example, did you know that a Diavon water snake can grow to be almost 200 meters long? I didn't. I didn't really want to find out either, because now I'm really freaked out by water, but there's not much else to do in the place except read. Read, eat, read, sleep, read, go to the bathroom, and read at the same time. It's really very, very dull. But all that introspection gave me perspective. I wisened up, and now I'm ready. Ready to get married? Ready to admit that I'm scared out of my feathers about getting married. So no, still on that journey. Okay, I just don't like the fact it says again, rather than actually saying what it is. What about April? About April. I don't understand what happened to her. Oh, she was the sweetest, prettiest, nicest girl you could have ever imagined. And she was a real trooper. Save the world and all. You don't see a lot of people doing that these days. But things didn't turn out the way she thought they would. She couldn't go back to her world, first because she was afraid, and then later because she'd lost her powers. On top of that, the Azadi were after everyone from Stark. Everyone with special powers, everyone who was allied with the Magicals. In the end, I think April just snapped. She was so angry, she felt so betrayed. She had to take it out on someone. Fortunately, she decided to take it out on the Azadi. I wanted to stick with her, I really did, despite the yelling and the bitterness. But in the end, she just up and left me, right in the middle of nowhere, too. I tried looking for her, but after a while, I gave up. 
I got the distinct feeling she didn't want me around anyway. Aww. So, I left to begin a new life. I don't think there's anything you could have done, Crow. Sometimes the people we know and love change. And sometimes that means we have to move on. April's powers. What powers did April lose? Her special thingy, being a shifter. First, she didn't want to go back to Stark, and then, one day, she couldn't. Her powers went poof, and no one knows why. Ooh. What? What? Why did you go, ooh? Because it's spooky. Also, I like saying it. It makes my beak vibrate. You don't think she lost her powers because she felt her powers were the cause of her misery? Ooh, it's, deep. Of course, I, I wouldn't know what... Huh? Seems to me that she was scared about facing reality again. And she decided that her powers would only bring more pain. So she lost them. Oh, oh, that's, uh, uh, psychology, isn't it? Oh, brilliant. You human females from Stark are really clever. So, hey, if we hit April with a really big frying pan, she'll come to her senses, right? What? No. No. What? Yes, yes, it's called therapy. I read about it somewhere. Well, not read, more like heard. In a seedy tavern near the docks. After 11 thimbles of Mary Menstrom's yellow fire. Just before dawn. <laughs> on a Monday. But I remember the fella who told me. Big lad. Arms as thick as oak trees. A stunning collection of scars. Nice eye patch. A real therapist he was. Er, wait, maybe it was rapist. I agree, Zoe. I agree with the shaking of the head. Thanks. It was nice chatting with you, Crow. It's been very informative. Glad to help, doll. Doll? Um, I mean, independent and self-reliant female person who's not an object to be ogled at or used solely for my own personal amusement and pleasure. <laughs> it's better. Right, let's, let's, let's just go. I assume, when, I assume resting progresses. Off-light. 